Hey everybody, Melissa here. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited you're all here. So today we're going to be in LibreOffice Writer and I'm going to show you how to add text to an image or a picture. Now we've got three ways we can go about this. We can do it via a text box. We can do it freehand, which I promise when we get to the part where I'm doing it freehand, you are going to laugh and that's okay because I laugh at myself. Or if the text is already on the document, then we can move that text to the image with just a few clicks of our mouse. I'm also going to show you a few other tips, including how to add a clickable hyperlink to your image. I am so excited to show you. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have an image already open and ready to go. If you need to insert an image, you can go up to insert image or over in your main toolbar, you can go ahead and click insert image and then pull it from wherever it is on your computer. So let's go ahead and look at how we insert text using a text box. Again, we can do it two places, insert text box, or from our main toolbar, we can do insert text box. I'm gonna go ahead and draw it. Now you can kind of guess what size it needs to be because you can change the size of the text box up and down depending on how long your text is and how large you need the font to be. So let's go ahead and type good morning. And we're gonna highlight our text and we're gonna change the size of it over here, increase our font. We are going to change the color. Let's just pick a pretty blue given our background. Let's bold it and let's maybe put a toggle shadow on it. So let's go ahead and center our text. We're gonna go over here and align center and then align vertically or center, center vertically. And now we want to center our text box on our picture. So click on your text box and we're gonna go over here to align objects, tell it to align its center and then tell it to align it vertically. And that should put our text about in the center of the picture. Let's go ahead and click out of it and there you go. And then you can still go back in and click and still make more changes to your font or anything else that you want to change text box size or whatever. So that's how you add text using a text box. The next thing we want to look at is how to add text freehand. Now you're going to laugh and so am I because I'm really not good at this part. <laughs> I don't know why but I cannot freehand this but I can still show you how to do it and I promise you'll probably be better at it than I am. So we're going to go to insert shape, we're going to do a line and then we're going to do a freeform line. You don't want to do the freeform line field because it's not going to allow you to type or handwrite anything out. It's going to make different kinds of shapes based on how you move your mouse. So we want to do a freeform line. And we can go up here and we can, you know, pick whether it's dotted or however we want it, but we want a continuous line. And then we can change the width of the line or how thick we want the writing to be. And we can change the color. So let's go ahead and let's type. Hi. See, I told you guys I'm not very good at this, and it's okay if you're laughing at me. Go for it. It's great. So there you have it. That's how you can handwrite. Now you can go into each one, and let me tell you what I'm talking about. Every time you let go of the mouse and start a new area of typing, it creates a new box. See, this is the first part of the H. This is the H and the I, and then we have one for the dot. Now if we shift and we select them all. You saw when I did that, that got bigger. Now let's include this. Now as you see, it's highlighted everything. And now we can change the font size or whatever it is that we want to do to this handwriting. And that is how you add text freehand. So now let's look at how to add text when it's already on your document. We're gonna right click on the image, go to wrap, and tell it in background. And as you can see, it took whatever we had down here and it put it up here. Now in order to change the font, we're gonna have to click outside of the image. Watch what happens if we don't. It actually pulls our image. So if we click outside, we can highlight our text and we can change the size of it if we want to, that it's centered in the middle. Now keep in mind, this is gonna be centered in the middle of the page right now and not necessarily the image just yet, but I'll show you how to do that. Now if we click on the image and we go up here, and we tell it to center it this way, it's gonna shift that image over to where our writing is going to be centered. Now to center the writing on the image vertically, we're going to move the image itself to where it looks about centered or wherever it is that we want it. 
Now there's a couple other things I want to show you that you can do with an image that might come in handy. You can rotate it 90 degrees left or right. You can flip it vertically. You can flip it horizontally. You can change the transparency. Let's say we want the picture to be a little bit lighter. The higher the transparency percentage, the lighter the picture is. So let's make it 50 and it lighten that picture. You can put a border around your image. Just go in and pick the border. Tell it how thick you want it and it puts a border. You can also insert a hyperlink. Let's just say I want to redirect people who get this document to my YouTube channel. If I go in, I'm going to make it a website because my website redirects. I'm going to tell it OK. And now as you can see, it says control click to open hyperlink. So if someone comes into this, they can control click and it's going to take them to my YouTube channel. And that might come in handy. And there you have it. How to add text to an image in LibreOffice Writer. Did I not tell you that it was going to be hilarious when you saw me do the freehand? Hey, all that matters is I can show you how. <laughs> if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel before you go. And if you have any questions, feedback, or ideas for future content, then drop me a comment. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, thanks so much for watching.